Coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, the UFC strawweight champion, and of course, China's first UFC champion, Zhang Wei Li. And she is so affable outside the octagon. She is anything but when that octagon door closes. Power in both hands. She's got the chin that allows her to manage risk and put herself in harm's way. She is a fighter's fighter, but also a fan-friendly fighter, and just a great ambassador for mixed martial arts in China. To keep it going, though, she's got to defend the title here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holy professional. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, the Karachi Hati, Michelle Waterside. And now introducing her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 21 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Whaley Magna John. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This make it fun. So here's the karate hottie, Michelle Watterson. Don't let the nickname fool you. She has been a submission artist every step of the way in her mixed martial arts career. Started her UFC career 2-0 with two subs, nine career wins by submission for the opportunistic karate hottie, Michelle Watterson. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Look at the force behind that leg. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the ground. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well versed as her opponent. Nice punch there. 
right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Stuffs the takedown. Over no and problem. over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Zhang's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here, though. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Waters. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Shong's back in full mount. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. So 40 total strikes which have landed for Weili Zhang. Punch over the top. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Down south. 30 seconds to go here. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. 20 forward, seconds forward. left. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or not? It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Real quick leg kick. Nice strike. <sighs> All right, there's the horn, DC. We'll look back at some of the highlights from that previous round, and you know what she does. She grounds you, she pounds you. Yeah, you know it's coming, but it's on you to try to change it. It's on you to stop the result. It's on you to change the narrative of the fight. She says, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna get you there, and I'm gonna pound your face into the ground. That's exactly what she did at the close of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. We'll see if she can Good piggyback fight. upon all that good ground and pound work in the previous round. Well, when you watch a round like that, it's got to be 10-8. I mean, it has to be 10-8, or the judges have to be considering this was just a beatdown. This was one fighter controlling posture. This was one fighter putting immense damage on their opponent, and she does this constantly. This isn't something new. This is her way to fight, and when she's successful, the fights all look similar, and that round showed that she's having a lot of success. 
Oh. Big knee. Knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Watershed. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here, nice punch. Zhang's pass attempt denied. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Waters. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here, she's doing a nice job. Minutes remain in the round. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Under two minutes to go. All right, she's got north-south position now, DC. We don't see a lot of north-south chokes in the UFC, but what is she trying to do here from what is a dominant position? Well, you know, it's the north-south choke is very difficult because everybody is so well-versed in submission defense now. Right. But if done the correct way, it can happen. But you hit that north-south choke, hope that your opponent turns to their knees so that you can run to the back, try to get your hooks in, or you can attack guillotine when they go to their knees. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. And unofficially landing with 56% accuracy against Michelle Waters. Zhang's looking to lock up an arm bar here. She's gonna attack. And attack an arm bar.
so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Wayley Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside looking. I mean, John, I got you. We're going in together. <laughs> I'm not going in without my partner. But, man, she's a great grappler. She understands positioning so well, and she knows the moment her opponent got out of position, she was able to attack her finish. Great job, great performance. I don't have enough words to say congratulations to this young lady.